Our first break in the relentless rise of hospitalizations, which began in mid-May. But that relentless rise in cases has put many people on edge across the country, and they come at a time when data experts are predicting continued increases. THV 11's Roly Hoyt looks at the latest controversial model projections. 45 people dying a day from COVID-19. That's the frightening prediction data scientists are making about how many lives could be lost on a day in October. The problem is those same scientists have seemingly missed similar predictions already in the last three months. Thank goodness for that. But now the data modelers right here in Arkansas are also predicting a very dire situation. Should we listen? They say yes, not because they will be right, but because they're warning us they might be right and we can change it. What the model is saying instead is all things considered or if conditions at this time do not change, this is what could happen. Dr. Mark Williams is the Dean of the School of Public Health at UAMS. While models like the famous one out of the University of Washington have been much maligned, the advice they are giving here in Arkansas has been pretty close. What we saw here in Arkansas was that there was no real uh, steep increase in the number of cases day to day. But that is changing based on what has started to happen these last couple of weeks. That steep is continuing to increase and it's con and it, the rate at which it's increasing is beginning to accelerate. Whatever the reasons for that, Dean Williams says these predictions can easily be altered and that the governor's messaging is correct even as guidelines relax. Wear masks, social distancing, and no big crowds for a while. But we're asking for individual social responsibility and to do the right thing. Rolly Hoyt, THV 11 News. If you want more information about phase two of reopening or a full breakdown of today's COVID-19 numbers, all you have to do is text the word FAX to 501-376-1111.